Hey guys, and welcome back to Battalion Wars 2. In the last part, we did the first mission, and now we're going to do the second mission, so yeah. Kaiser Vlad's fleet is moored in the fjords at the foot of Novigrad, Tundra's second city. Nova unleashes the all-conquering TTS Potemkin in a bid to blast the enemy out of the water. Alright, this is the first time we get to use a Dreadnought, and it's really towards the end of the game, which kind of sucks, but oh well. I remember this one being potentially difficult, and this is another really, really long one. So, yeah. It's not because it's not a linear mission, it just takes a while. So, sorry. Behold, the TTS Potemkin, Tundra's all-conquering dreadnought. With it, we must sink the naval fleet that Vlad has moored in the fjords of Novograd. Only the efficient application of naval combat tactics will secure victory on this day. Commander, we must find and destroy the Exylvanian fleet. Make haste, but beware. These waters are swimming with Exylvanian submarines. Your frigates will detect them. Crap, he's gonna hit me. No, no, no! Ah! Ah! Ow! Torpedoes, they do a lot of freaking damage. Man. Ah! Camera? Hello? Ugh! Man. Okay, so, first off, RPG Towers, use your Dreadnought like it's artillery, and be very careful with it. You don't want to lose it. So, yeah. Um, submarine there. No, 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 no. Frigates. You really do not want to lose your dreadnought. Serious. Ow, what the heck is hitting me? I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, I'm already at half health. Man, that's crazy. But okay, you need to be sure to constantly get health for the dreadnought. I think I just pushed him into it. Damn. Alright, well, you are really going to want to keep this thing alive, okay? So, be sure you do. All right, so, gunships, frigates. This is actually pretty tough. You, like, just like he said, you're gonna need to be smart. You can't just rush in. Oh, get it, rush in, because we're playing as Russians? Yeah, that one's actually pretty decent, isn't it? Yeah, you didn't expect that. Uh, battleship, battleships, okay. So, frigates, oh, okay, they killed it. <laughs> that works for me. But uh, the other thing is that, again, be very careful of the ground. You don't want to run into it because the ground is very, very bad. You'll take so much damage. Oh, come on! Ugh. Well, I can't do it just because I was moving? Jeez. Keep your eyes on the water also for submarines because while you can't target them, you can still see them. So. Just keep an eye out for them, because you can, you know, you can see them before they start killing you. Oh, wait, I can target something that I can't actually hit? That's weird. I didn't know you could target something out of range. There we go. Okay, so what's next? RPG towers, RPG tower, uh, battleship up there, and, go, and another battleship. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna go to my subs. You guys wait. Ha! Ah. Kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really talking too much because I'm just trying to think a little too hard. And, yeah. So, if I'm a little bit quiet, I apologize. Because I just don't... I really would rather not die. Okay. Frigates. Where are they? Alert! Enemy submarines approaching. From where? Oh, there they are. Okay. It's like, I don't care if they are approaching. Just tell me where they're approaching from, please. <laughs> Kill it. Jeez. Yeah, I know I'm being targeted. I don't really care. From the zone 
Okay, now. Wait, did they? Oh no! Ah, my dreadnought. Jeez, man, there's so many ships. So many ships. Um, ah. Huh? I'm having so much trouble deciding what to do. Ah, it's too much. There's like three different types. See, if the game was like this the entire time, it would actually be pretty dang challenging because I'm fighting like. I'm fighting like six different kinds of units right here. I'm fighting like frigates, which require subs. I'm fighting gunships, which require um, my frigates. And I'm fighting battleships, which require my dreadnought and also subs. So it's actually very difficult for me to figure out what I need to use and when. So, yeah. <laughs> If I'm moving kind of slow or acting kind of stupid, that's why. It's just a little too much for me to think about all at once. Ugh. But I seriously need some health, so I'm going to try to kill these battleships here. Get it. Okay, good. That one died. Oh, no. One of my what's-it-called's died. That sucks. Ow, ow. Died. Okay. Another frigate. Good health. And you're dead. Kaboom. The frigate squadron now lies beneath the wave. Ugh. Okay. More health. Don't hit anything. Please. <laughs> okay. Out of the way. Submarines, move. <laughs> Go under or something. Jeez. You can move in three directions. Or three dimensions, I mean. Okay. So they have a dreadnought. That's awesome. That's just delicious. The fact that they have that is awesome. I, I enjoy that. And also, really awesome lightning. It would totally never look like that, though. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Because that, I mean, like, you know, the lightning, it's got like 30 branches on it. It would never look like that, like, ever. Please don't. That, I, I'd like it if you didn't do that. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Submarines. Everyone kill it. So now it just becomes a game of killing one ship now that I've killed everything. And haha, -ha, I outsmirted you. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That hurts. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a smirt naval commander. Not so much. I have an entire dreadnought armada assembled here at the Novak Brock Caves. We must call in the munitions experts, destroy the anti air towers, then activate this helipad to summon them. My air transports are flying in grants, anti-air vets, and a light tank. Storm the city. And this is why this mission is so long, because it's two segments. You go for, it's a long naval segment and a long ground segment. So, yeah. You must eliminate those dreadnoughts, Commander. Activate that helipad. So, in this segment, be careful, because... Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, what? Acid gas veterans. Okay. So, be careful of the acid gas, because it's basically the Exylvanian uh, flamethrower veteran, so it's anti-infantry, so don't let them get close. And camera, work with me. God! <laughs> All right, so, like I was saying before, before I was interrupted, be careful in this segment. If you die, you start over at the naval segment. You don't restart here, as far as I know. Okay, I've actually never died here before, so I guess I am just kind of assuming that, but that seems like something that the game would do, because they don't really ever give you checkpoints, so be careful. Okay, so have your guys wait and then deal with these guys. Oh, come on. Oh, so they can shoot me, but I can't shoot them? That's stupid. Okay, take care of the MG nest, come on. Don't kill my guys. 
Okay, good. Die. Thank you. <laughs> and die. Oh, come on. Only problem about tanks that you never that you never really ever see in any other gun games or like shooter games. You know how tanks can always shoot directly in front of themselves. In this game, it's actually realistic and they can't. <laughs> but okay, we got a gunship coming. Can't die here, vets. Die. Kill it, kill it. Oh, well, actually, I guess I was wrong about um, the environment of this next mission. Looks like it didn't take place in a, uh, you know, a snowy area. But, okay, we got just grunts. Okay. And then there's more POWs up there. You're going to want to go ahead and get all these POWs to strengthen this battalion because you're pretty weak right now. You've only got about eight guys when you first start out. You know, and the tank, but still. If that tank dies, you're screwed. I can't hear a word you're saying. You're a little bit too quiet. Ugh. Sorry. All right. So, if you want to take these guys from afar, you can actually just aim up. And let's see. I know you can. You can do this. Come on. How high up do I have to aim? Come on now. Oh, come on. I want to do this. I want to snipe it with a freaking tank. All right, fine, I won't. Ugh. Here, that'll do it. I know that that'll get it. Yeah, see, you can do it. It's just, if you're going from too far away, it's very, very difficult to judge. Plus, the Wii Remote is so shaky. Man, it's impossible to aim. I actually have to hold it with two hands just to aim. Oh, did I seriously just shoot over it? Come on. Ugh. There, kaboom. Oh, so I could have done it out of range. Oh, I thought they were going to start blasting me. I didn't want to lose too much health. But okay. That's not even where I'm going to go first, because I know people are probably yelling at me to go back that way. I'm going to. I just want to get these um, tents, because I'm fairly certain that they have jerry cans in them. So. Ugh. Stop annoying me. <laughs> God. Of course I shoot through inv shoot invisible walls. Why wouldn't I? Uh, okay, that's not where I want to go. I want to go this way. Do, 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 do. Free and POWs. Oh, what the? Hey. Don't be shooting at us. We're not doing nothing. Just leave us alone. It's cool. It's cool. So, I'm going to have those guys and those guys wait back here. And then I'm going to have my border, no, border, border vets attack the MG Towers because they can. And they can do it out of range. Um, good. <laughs> no, no. Attack them out of range, you dumbasses. What are you doing running up? Oh, I targeted the wrong one. Whoops. Guys, shoot this one back here. And this one. God. Idiots. All right, here. Just everybody get up here. <laughs> Man, I guess it, I, I didn't lose any, I don't think, but man, so stupid. Here, let's just free those guys there. I believe we get an extra tank. Yeah. Okay. So, now we have two tanks, um, a lot more grunts, and, you know, uh, anti-air units. So that's very good. That's the last of the POWs, so don't need to worry about looking for any more, and we are totally as strong as we can be. I'm just happy with that tank. Man. So, um, up in here, in this city here, it's basically like a little maze, but not really a maze. But basically what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to alternate um, the units that you use. There's bazooka veterans and acid veterans in there, so you're going to have to alternate using your tanks and your infantry to handle the acid gas and then the bazooka veterans, uh, respectively. So, oh, that stupid grunt. Just get down there and stay away. Everybody kill him. Thank you. Acid gas veterans. Them. Them to 
Ew. That's creepy. There we go. Oh no, there's more. Crap, kill it. Kill it. Please. Shoot him. Tank. <laughs> God. I used to think that you were good. Now I do not think that anymore. Okay, so now... Protect your tanks. Okay, so now everybody attack the bazooka veterans away from the tanks, because you don't want them damaging your tanks too, too much. Die. Stop bouncing all around. Man. There we go. Not bad. Tank time. Oh, what, you guys came up here anyway? You idiots. Oh, and you did take damage. That's just awesome of you. Even though I literally told them to stay behind. <sighs> oh, well. I'll be okay. Let's see. What's next? Um, acid gas, and then bazookas, and then one acid gas. Okay. Let's see. How much health does my other tank have? Okay, it's full. Okay. So... Why do you care for this trifling town? Um, because you're gonna be... We don't care about the town. We care about the freaking Dreadnought Armada, you idiot. Okay. At least other people are getting freaking health kits. I barely get any jerry cans in here. And camera. Oh my god. Work. Why do you suck so bad? It's like you fix about 90% of everything that's in the game except the camera. And that's pretty freaking important. Jeez. But okay. Now we're going to need more mortar vets. Tanks, stay back. Ugh. Oh, what, that's it? Come on, you can be more creative than that. No turnip juice? No turnip jokes or anything? All right. Anyway. Camera, why do you do this to me? My God. And, oh, camera. Ugh. God, that... It really is just so annoying. Why does it fail so hard and so often as well? It's just weird. It's not that hard to design a good camera. I mean, man. I mean, I I don't know. I'm not a game designer, but it just doesn't seem like something that would be difficult to make and fix and make well. I don't know. Just annoying. But anyway. Wait, where are their acid gas veterans? Is there a gunship? There is a gunship. Kill it. Kill it with fire. And then hopefully kill these guys with fire too, because they suck. Ow. Please kill the gunship. I don't know if they're killing it. They better be, that's for sure. Man. Otherwise they will not receive their food. Where is the gunship? Is it still up there? No? Okay, good. Because I see him firing up. It's like, have you guys seriously not killed that thing yet? But Oh, awesome. Another gunship. That is just what I wanted to see. And now it is dead. Good. Okay, so now everybody go kill those bazooka veterans. Because at this point, we're pretty much done. <laughs> Thankfully. Ow, ow. Okay. So... Now we just gotta kill these bazooka veterans. Come on. Oh. Come on. Go, camera, please. Please. Thank you. My god. Kill that. And now. Oh, we're almost done. So close. And just in case you were wondering, this was all still the same mission. So just don't die in here. Camera. I hate you. I hate you very badly. Man. So. Uh, signal the signal, and let's get going. We're pretty much done now. It's all cutscene. It's a good thing that dreadnought cave isn't like guarded or anything. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. Place the explosives at the bases of those buildings. Hurry. Get to safety. That's a building? I thought that was a dreadnought. 
Detonation imminent. Cover your ears. It wasn't that loud. I didn't need to cover my ears, just so you know. <laughs> Mission complete. Well, it's a really good thing that they didn't have you actually do that because guaranteed they would have put it on like a time limit. It's like, oh, you need to get out before they blow up or like, you know, you have to um, protect them for, for a certain amount of time until everything's planted because... They did not need to make that mission any longer or more difficult than it should have been because, ugh. Anyway, we got 100% power even though I know that I did miss one. I missed a RPG tower, like in the naval segment, but I guess it doesn't really count. So, yeah. Next time on Battalion Wars 2, we will head to the second to last mission, Ice Station X. So, see you guys then.